Now that we've looked at some of the number features, let's look at applying some of that knowledge. The first application we're going to look at is to determine the highest common factor of a list of numbers. The highest common factor of two or more numbers is the largest factor common to all the whole numbers. There are three methods that I'm going to show you in this lesson. The first method is called listing the factors. The second is called prime factorization. And the third is called prime division. Prime factorization and prime division are very similar to each other. The first one we're going to do is find the HCF of 12, 18, and 24. As this method states, you are to list the factors of each number and determine the highest common factor of the list. So for 12, we have the factors 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. We also have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 6, and negative 12. Now, since we are looking for the highest common factor, these negative numbers can be ignored, since there are positive counterparts. So, negative numbers are ignored. Let's look at 18. I will only list the positive factors of 18. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. 24. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. Now we just have to look at the highest common factor to all. We see the highest factor here is 12. We see there is no 12 in this, but we see a 12 here. It is not common to all. We go down, highest common factor here is 6. We see 6 here, and we see 6 here. So the highest common factor of 12, 18, and 24 is 6. The next method we're going to look at is called prime factorization. We are to write out each whole number as a product of primes. So let's first write out this as a product of primes. I'm going to put 12 here, 18 here, and 24 here. And when I'm listing out these product of primes, I'm going to write the numbers separately in their own little boxes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that each column has only a particular number inside of it. So in this case, I'm going to see the factors of the prime factors of 12 are 2, 2, and 3. For 18, it's 2, 3, 3. And for 24, it is 2, 2, 2, 3. Now, since this column here has 2, I'm going to erase the 3 from here and shift it here. Since this column here has 2, I'm going to erase the 3 from here, shift it, and same thing for this one. Now, it says select the prime number or numbers in common with all. So we can see right away that 2 is in common with all, and we see that 3 is in common with all. Then, determine the product of these prime numbers to determine the HCF. So that means that the HCF will be... 2 multiplied by 3, which is 6, the same as your previous answer. The last one we're going to do is called prime division. We are going to divide all the whole numbers by prime numbers until all can no longer be divided. So, first off, we're going to write the numbers 12, 18, and 24 like this. And the first thing we're going to divide by is the prime number 2. We divide and we get here 6, we get here 9, and we get here 12. Then we see that each one of them can also be divided by 3. So we divide by 3, we get 2, we get 3, and we get 4. Now there is no other prime number that we can divide all by. So then, determine the product of the divisors to determine the HCF. So that means the HCF 
is equal to 2 multiplied by 3. 6.